Yo, what is up? This is Joe King Johnson 4 here playing some Battlefield 4 for you guys. And in this gameplay, I ran like around 50 kills and 14 plus deaths. Now, this gameplay is pretty much surprising because the weapon that I'm currently using, I barely been using it like for three days, three days and a half. So the past three nights, I've been working on this gun and trying to, you know, unlock the sight for it because the iron sights that I have for this gun pretty much suck. It's called the CZ3A1. And yes, it's an SMG, and it's the second class. I forgot the name of it though, but um, you know, it's the one with the, a lot of the SMGs. And um, I pretty much was surprised because the figure of the gun, the way it's shaped, it kind of looks like the Scorpion Eagle from Black Ops 2. Yes, I know most of you guys are gonna give me shit for it. You know, most of you guys are be, gonna be telling me like, yeah, hey, Joe, you know, shut the hell up about Call of Duty. You know, stop comparing shit to that game. You know. You know, I don't care, but uh, I think it kind of looks like the Scorpion Eagle from Black Ops 2. So I was very much curious on using this gun because I was like, hey, you know, maybe I can do like a best class setup for this gun because I know I had one for the for Black Ops 2, you know, which is the God Mode one. And uh, it came out pretty much perfect and it was pretty much successful. So I'm um, here using it now and I was like, you know, what the hell? This one has more recoil than anything else. It does have a lot more recoil, tons of recoil. It, has, it still has the same rapid fire though. I kind of feel the same thing. From uh, compared to the Black Ops 2 version, so uh, so yeah, the CC3A1 kind of has potential here, and uh, it, I think it could take out like big crowds of people, which I've done already, and I used to be able to see that in this gameplay. I took like I took out like around five people at once, five, which is pretty good, and uh, that's I think it was with one mag or one mag and a half, so it's still pretty good, guys. Um, also, the site that I'm currently using, which is the one you see on your screen right now, that site um, I've never used it before. This is the second play I've used it, the second game I mean, and um, the first game, which is the previous game of before this one, um, I won like around 42 kills, 42 kills and 12 deaths. We ended up losing the game like by 10 points. I was really much uh, upset because I was like, God damn it, you know, I've been using this freaking gun like for one day, and we lost, come on, man, and I was doing so, such like a, I, I was giving out there like an incredible performance and you know, we ended up losing. God damn it. It's because my teammates never even got like over 20 kills. So you can tell pretty much that I'm going solo here, kind of. So, uh, but I still need that though. I still need them. I'm not claiming, you know, that, uh, you know, old Joe just did everything, you know. No, um, you know, I need I need some teammates out there. So I'm throwing this offer out there, guys, you know, to the people that stay over 11 p.m. Central. Please add me on PSN because I need people to play with me. Because, God damn, it's been so many times that I end up losing. And it's because of my teammates sometimes, you know, yes, they're trying their best, but, you know, sometimes I need people who can actually kill, not just walk in there and just pretend to die and shit. Like, come on, man. We need some people that can actually capture flags, um, you know, kill people, that can actually react to certain shots. I mean, come on. I, I just need another duplicate of myself or something, you know, almost there like me <laughs> or uh, like, I don't know. But anyways, you know, add me on PSN. You know, my PSN is Joking John's 84. You can see it on the description. Just click more on the description. Don't be lazy. Just move your finger and uh, click show more. So anyways, um, yeah, about the site. It pretty much allows me to see more of a clear view down the field, which I have said the same thing about the Coyote site, which you've seen on my previous uh, carbon rifle videos. If you've seen the Ace 21 um, CQB or the Ace uh, 52 CQB or the Time 95 uh, A uh, 5B1, so, uh, you know I'm very confused. You know there's a lot of freaking numbers. What can it just give him like a simple name? So, so uh, you guys have seen you know my gameplay about the Type 95 B1. That Coyote side pretty much allows you to see also a clear view down the field. But uh, this one I guess is the same thing, except it's round and it gives you like an extra ring. And sometimes I feel like the aim is pretty much locking in itself like perfectly. Like I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the aiming is just way more perfect compared to the Time 95. And I think I'm gonna test it out on a Time 95 too because, uh, you know, this is the first time I use this side. The second time, I mean, the second gameplay, the previous gameplay went like around 42 kills, and um, I didn't get to record it though. But um, you know, still. It was an incredible gameplay, and uh, we lost by 10 points, though. We could have won the game. It's just that my teammates, you know, like always, um, they're trying to catch her, but, you know, at the end, we ended, we ended up not to. So, um, so, yeah, I mean, the side is just there, man. The side is always locking perfectly. I mean, I'm just taking out people. It actually shows me where I'm shooting at. It, I sometimes feel like it's actually all there compared to the Coyote side, which is just a little red dot side. 
So I don't know. I'm reconsidering um, adding this attachment instead of the coyote sights. And uh, but first, I'm gonna show you guys the best class setups for all the carbon rifles, and then I'm gonna change it later on so I can, uh, you know, show you guys what I changed. Because uh, if not, you're never gonna get like the idea of what I've been using the carbon rifles in the first place. So uh, and goddamn, you know, that's like around five freaking grenades. It's a lot of freaking grenades in the gameplay. So, anyways, um, yeah. I mean, we could have won this match too. It's just that, you know, my teammates need to move around, need to kill all around, you know. They cannot just be out there like puppets and just like, you know, let me get the fucking base and I'll be your bodyguard. No, man, I need people who can actually kill, man. I need killers. And people that know how to defend bases, man. I mean, like, I'm all here, like, by myself and shit. And, um, so yeah. I mean, this gun is a hell of a gun. Short range, aiming down the field. And also... I took away, I, I think I'm going to take away the um, red laser sight, which I, I was playing with in the few, uh, in the past few days. Um, you know, I took it off because of the, the way it, like, shakes way too much. Like, not even hit fire saves it, like, it just shakes way too much. So I ended up putting a flashlight because I ended up not, because I cannot see down the field sometimes. So, uh, yeah, because it's pretty much confusing compared to the Type 95 B1, compared to the, all the other uh, class setups that I have out there. Um, apparently this one doesn't allow me to see clear the, clearly down the field, so I'm like, you know, I need some light, you know, it's pretty goddamn dark, even with the brightness all the way up, I still can't see down the field, so I need the freaking flashlight, man. I know you guys can see clearly right now through, the, through your screen, but I'm like, you know, sometimes I can't even see. So, um, so yeah, that's why I ended up putting on the flashlight, even though I told you guys not to. Um, but I need the tactical light, I think that one's a lot better, so I can, like, flash people right in front of the faces. So... Yeah, uh, the the side, you know, a little bit more information, guys. It allows you to see from long range to short range, which is pretty good. Um, I should really consider putting it at a Time 95 B1. It's just an incredible thing. I mean, I was never expecting this. I was never expecting to go with 50 kills. That's my best personal record here in Battlefield 4. Can't believe it. But at the end, we ended up losing because, uh, you know, god damn it, man. We can actually win. Now, look at this little play right here. Coming in, one dies. I almost killed this guy. Bam. Should have reloaded though. I should have, you know, killed the other guy and just reloaded and killed this other guy. Just, just environmental play. You know, that's one of my secrets, guys. Environmental play. I call it like that because you're playing with the environment and then you're tricking out the enemy and pretty much you ended up beating them in 1v1 and shit like that. Random. Uh, <laughs> and another extra information, guys. The incendiary grenade works perfectly for a flash grenade. Just in case you're wondering, because that, that's why I just throw it random sometimes, just to distract the people, just to distract the enemies, and, uh, you know, that's why I throw it randomly. So anyways, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, guys. If you guys like the gameplay, you know, please let me know. Yes, I lost, but, uh, you know, I just need better teammates, man. I need better teammates that can actually kill, that can actually get more than 20 kills, because, god damn it. If you guys look at the scoreboard right now, none of them got over 20 kills. I was really shocked. Really shark remind me a lot of the, my Black Ops 1 days when nobody got over the freaking 10 kills. There was a point like that and I ended up getting like around 50 plus kills in Team DM. I think I still have that gameplay saved. Look at this freaking scoreboard. God damn. So um, I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more.